Hello everyone, this is Mwesu Gamgua Bosco, the Edisha Wisdom Center uh, in Karumuna, that's the Bugesera. Yes, as usual, uh, I also handle science and uh, we have been moving on. Yes, so today I've come that we continue. But before going on, uh, we need to still make sure that, uh, yes, we observe uh, the government measures of keeping home, of avoiding COVID-19. Please, it's very important to take that, okay? Remember, COVID or coronavirus is real. So please uh, stay home, be safe. Uh, can make sure if you have to have sanitizer, sanitize your hands. If you don't have it, then get to water and wash your hands. And then avoid transferring your hands to faces, the mouth, the nose every time. So please make sure you observe all those measures. It will be very important that at the time you get back to school, that you will be still alive. So please keep your neighbor safe and keep yourself safe by keeping a distance, stay home. And then always follow us. We are there for you. So today, I've again come back that we are going to go on, uh, on looking at uh, different activities. Yes. So, uh, but remember, if in case you, you for any query you want to ask us, our contacts are there every time. Anytime you call us, you can easily get us. So please, for any challenge, it is uh, we are there. Your science teacher, teacher Bosco, is ever there helping you in any activity and you might get in a problem, please. The whole country, we are helping. We are there for you, please. You all are pupils. So please, let's move on and then go to the topic for today. Uh, today's topic specifically uh, is about a sustainable waste management. Simply, I will look at this uh, to understand it properly. We need to look at uh, at least a given picture below and then see, look at different uh, waste and see what do we mean by sustainable uh, waste management. So please, you can look at this picture. You can see here, uh, these are, you can see these are pupils, like the boys, they are pupils, they are learning, they are trying to play around. You can see. So this one stepped on a metal, or it can be maybe a bottle, a broken bottle, and it, it had to cut. You can see his leg. So, uh, meaning the broken bottle or any sharp object, it says it's a waste. It is, maybe it was used for a given purpose and it was thrown away. So in our environment, there are lots of wastes. You check here. These are all wastes. Yes, so we have to take care. Don't take care. You might get injured like this one here, but still now, we need to see what should be done uh, to make sure that the wastes are properly handled. Because Wastes are, 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 are real. It's a must. It should be there in the environment because whenever you use an object and then the use is over, you find that you have to dispose it off. So we shall see. In waste management, we need to see how do we waste, uh, dispose of wastes? How do we keep them outside? Do we leave them in the environment? Do we litter them around us? That's all about sustainable waste management. So simply here, Looking at this, we need to see how do we simply define such a term. So for sustainable waste management simply refers to the proper way of handling wastes. Yes, so how should we handle wastes at home? Those are going to look at those ways, okay? So the proper, the proper way of handling wastes is simply referred to waste management. So uh, we should treat both liquid and solid wastes so that we can live in a clean environment. So meaning waste can be in different forms. They can be solid, they can be liquid, they can be even in gaseous form. So we should treat all those wastes such that they are not harmful to our environment or where we stay. So this simply takes us to the classification of wastes. Because if we want to understand these wastes and how should we handle them, because in most cases you might find that somebody has seen found wastes or their kitchen refuse, maybe they are wastes from automobiles or let's say they are wastes from different sources and they are just mixed. It becomes too hazardous. So what's the very important is to classify them. If you want to manage them, we put them in groups. Those which can rot, we keep them separately and those don't rot also separately. Those which can rot, we can take them to gardens for manure. And those which don't rot, still, we don't throw them in the environment. We can take them to factories for recycling. 
to get other new products. So you can see wastes are also useful in the environment, though they are taken to be wastes, but they are not wastes as we mean. They can be wastes for that purpose that have expired, but we can make a reuse and have another purpose. So, uh, dear people, as we move, let us take this note. We group them, these wastes, and then see how we can treat them, manage them. So, uh, there are many forms or groups of wastes. But in those ones, we have two major groups of wastes. And those ones, we have those which are called biodegradable wastes and then nanny biodegradable waste. So we want to look at these terms properly, one by one. If we say biodegradable waste, what do we mean? From simple terms, the word degradable, you find that uh, uh, there are those ones which can easily be decomposed. They can rot and be broken down, okay? Yes, so when we check here ourselves, we can check on this. <coughs> so. We shall get back and define each term, looking at the degradable and then the bio, nanny biodegradable. Those are the two major forms of wastes. We can see, we are saying, the major two forms of wastes, or groups of wastes, we have biodegradable wastes, simply those ones can rot, and then nanny biodegradable wastes, they don't rot, simply like that. So we shall look at them and see examples in each. But before that, yeah, we can also look at other, other groups from the major ones. Remember, the two major groups, we have biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. So we can see other groups of wastes or types of forms of waste. We have those which are called hazardous waste. Okay, we shall see simply the meaning of this. And then as we go, we shall check also on organic waste. Okay. Then we have the recyclable wastes. So, these are simply the types of forms of wastes. These are five groups, but out of the five groups of the major group of wastes, we talked of biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Other wastes we have hazardous waste, organic waste, and then recyclable waste. So, a point to note is that waste is classified best, uh, by its source and by its properties. So if you want to understand clearly these types of groups of waste one by one, yes, we have to check on the source, where they come from. Do they come from automobiles, concerning with the vehicles, auto vehicles, or do they come from the garden and they build organic waste? Do they come from, are they, are they, are they recyclable or non-recyclable? So that basis helps us to classify. So please, whenever you're going to classify a waste, know its type, always consider its source and its properties. So we can now move ahead and check on one by one. So uh, beginning with biodegradable waste, simply we said these wastes can rot. In a simple term, one can define biodegradable waste as waste that can rot. That's very important, very clear, and very brief. But still, we can also define by degradable waste as wastes that can, no, that can be decomposed by microorganisms to form organic matter. The microorganisms are simply living things in the environment, okay? So that can easily break down like bacteria. So those wastes which can be broken down by bacteria, we can refer them to biodegradable waste. So simply we can say biodegradable waste are waste that can be decomposed easily, like that. And then when we talk about biodegradable waste, we should also remember that uh, it's a type of waste that is typically originating from plants and animal sources. So one can still define biodegradable waste that are types of waste that originate or typically come from plants and animal sources. Yes, so it's a very clear understanding, a basis of uh, uh, having a background of biodegradable waste. Simply say they are waste that can rot, or they are waste that originate from plants and animal sources. Okay, 
So this can take us to the examples of these wastes, examples of biodegradable wastes. We can't simply say, talk of uh, uh, human wastes, okay? Or one can say human and animal wastes. This is one example, the animal wastes. Yes, uh, talk of plant products, any product from plants. Yes, uh, it is, it is uh, it's waste, if it's timber, uh, if it's uh, charcoal, so once they are used for after some time and the left, they can be waste. So if once the use is out, yes, then to be waste. Talk of wood, talk of paper, yes, uh, talk of food waste, like leftovers, okay? Talk of leaves, this also can be waste. Very good. Yes, uh, uh, grass clippings, okay? Yes, they also can also be waste. Uh, and then talk of dead animals, which we can call animal remains. So this is a variety of wastes, a number of them. So we can't fail to mention biodegradable waste. And this is very common. So we should take note that these wastes come from plants and animal sources. You can mention any waste, anything that is not now useful, but has got come from plants and animal sources. As we said, uh, the, the human wastes, or animal waste, like cow dung, urine, that can become a waste from animals. Talk of uh, plant products, yes. Talk of wood, which is from plants. Talk of paper. Talk of food stuffs or food leftovers, yes. Leaves, grass clippings, dead animals or animal remains. Those ones are simply examples of biodegradable waste. They can simply rot. Yes. Look at this combination of wastes, and these wastes are very common at home. Talk of the kitchen refuse, when uh, the waste from the kitchen, like at home, if they say they were appealing, look, look at here, this, uh, this one, if it was a, a purple, which is the papaya, uh, see these are like kind of leaves, see this is the maize, yes, check, if it's even meat, yeah, you can see waste if after eating meat, and then the leftovers, yes, it will be waste because it will be now not useful. See this, if it's maybe fish that you ate at home, and then left part, and then you throw away, then that will be left over. So it will be waste. So these ones are all wastes. Simply check here. This is a waste. Okay, these are wastes in a waste bin. A waste bin simply help us to collect the wastes. Yes. So you can see a variety of them. So these wastes are dangerous in the environment. In case they are left there, they can simply be a source of diseases. That's why we have to collect them into the waste bin and then later taken to the uh, disposal site or waste site. Uh, so this then can give us a way forward to move to the non-biodegradable wastes, meaning there are some wastes which do not rot. Those wastes are simply called non-biodegradable wastes, simply the opposite of those which are degradable wastes, meaning Get a simple understanding, waste that can rot and those which can't rot. Oh wow, this is easy to move on. So we can see, non biodegradable waste, simply we are saying, this is a waste that cannot rot or decay easily. They can take years and years, so, or not even rot at all. So examples of these wastes which cannot rot or decay, we can have aluminium cans, uh, talk of uh, plastic products. If it's uh, like a kind of at home, they bring uh, drinks like a soda, uh, soda, different kind of stuffs from plastics. Those plastics don't rot. That's why it's not advised to dispose them off the land. Yes, glasses, glasses don't rot. They are non biodegradable. Then check on the bottles here, also can't rot. Yes, that's why you can easily cut you in case they are thrown or disposed off the land. And then talk of the metal scraps, okay? Yes, uh, from metallics. Yes, these ones don't rot. And still, uh, plastic bags. Yes, I talk of plastic products, I can't rot, can't rot. So these ones simply are non biodegradable wastes. Why do we refer them to such? It's because they do not rot. A note to take here is that uh, 
non-biodegradable wastes or items have to be stored properly when they are damaged because they can be recycled. Yeah, this will, this will give us a way to next. As we say that we don't need to just throw them, they have to be stored properly because you can recycle them, change them into useful products. Yeah, this is very important. But then we have to check ourselves uh, with an activity about this. We have looked at uh, uh, different, uh, these two main groups of forms of wastes. Yes? So we say that uh, waste simply or waste management uh, simply refers to the proper way of handling waste. Meaning, waste should be handled properly because we, they can be waste, but if you handle them properly, they may not again be waste. So waste may not be waste depending on the way you handle them. But remember, for poor handling of waste can really be a source of, of diseases. So for this, we have looked at the major two forms or groups of wastes. We said uh, waste can be grouped as biodegradable wastes. Those that can be simple as that. And the simple they, are, they come from plants and animal resources or materials, which are the remains. And then the other side, you have the non-biodegradable wastes. Simply, these wastes do not rot. So it's a clear understanding they always ask you how are degradable waste different from nane by degradable waste. We simply say those which are degradable waste can is they rot, and then those which are nane by degradable do not rot easily. So look at the activity here, and we are given a num number to do together. Let us look at it together, please. It says group the following into grid biodegradable waste and in nanny biodegradable wastes. Yes. Okay. Simply, looking at this, we are given plastics, uh, metal scraps. Metal scraps, I hope you know them. These are like uh, used metals, okay? They're metal scraps. Let's say if they are from, let's say from uh, uh, electronics, they are, they are metals, yeah, such metals. Uh, those are scraps which are not useful. If they are from construction, like iron sheets, which all those ones are, if they are metallic, they are not used, they are scraps. So checking, moving ahead, we have banana peelings, okay? Peelings from bananas or from a token. And then now we have steel glasses, yes, from the glass windows. We have wood, specifically this is from plants. And then we also, yes, have animal waste, like if it's animal dung, urine, or that's animal waste. And then lastly, we are given the bottles. Yes, so we are given a simple way of, of, of looking at this. What do you have to do to avoid forgetting? Whatever you, you point, you tick, and then insert into the table to avoid leaving out any. But remember, when you are grouping them, we said, those which are biodegradable, they can simply rot. Okay? And their sources is from plants and animals. Then those which are nanny by degradable waste, simply those wastes do not rot. So basing on the fact that some can rot and others can't rot, we can now group them. So we can move together and group uh, these wastes. So here we have the side by degradable waste, those which you can rot and in there which do not rot. Check on number one, look at plastics. Yes, when you ask about plastics, check about plastics like those of, uh, of drinks you have at home, of, of different kind of stuff you use at home. If they are plastic chairs, they can't rot. So if they can't rot, let us group them into, bi into nanny biodegradable. So this side we move now and go to the side and have here plastics. Okay. Uh-huh. Plastics, as simple as that. Then please tick this to avoid forgetting H, any, anything there, leave out. Then, yes, we can check number two next year. Have metal scraps. Metals, yeah, specifically we know about metals. Metals are majorly hard. They are, these are, met, they are metallic, okay? So, this one, they don't rot. So, because metallics do not rot, okay, they don't, they don't decay easily. 
it takes long to decay, so we can classify them as non-biodegradable. Those are metallics or metal scraps. Metal scraps. The waste from metals. Please remember, good handwriting is very important. As you write your work, organize your work, such that at least, uh, yes, you, you organize. Whoever sees work, you say yes. Uh, as we move on, we can see. But remember to tick whatever you do. Yes, please. I hope we are moving together. Go with me as we move through this. And then uh, we have banana peelings. Oh, yes. At home, majorly you eat matoke. Every home, matoke is very common food. Banana peelings, uh, potato peelings, uh, different food stuffs you can talk of. Any kind of food stuff you see can easily rot. So because can that, such stuffs can rot, yes, we can group this. And I think we can bring it as biodegradable waste. Okay? Uh, that's the banana peelings. Banana peelings. Okay? Yes, moving still, you can see we have others like uh, we have glasses. Oh, yes, you can tick. Okay, don't forget to tick. Very important. Yeah, then still you have more like glasses here. We have wood. Yes, we have animal waste. Have the bottles. Okay. Yes, so for this case, we have done together this. It's very important that also you try out this yourself and do it. See, ask yourself, where should we group with the glasses? Are they, do they rot? Or not rot. Check. What about wood? Does wood rot or does not rot? Remember, another guide is that if those waste are from plants, specifically, they will easily rot. Any plant product, an animal product, but if they are from metals, those ones classify them as non-biodegradable. Yes. So check on that yourself, please. You can keep uh, completing the table and fill more examples as we check on those that can rot and not rot. So please, have time, do this. Uh, it will be actually good for you, such that as we get back together, or maybe as we get back to school, hey, when you ask, yes, please, class five, where you say, oh, yes, we learned this, we teach up our school. And, and that's very important from Wisdom Center. We are here to keep moving on with you, and uh, we shall keep moving. So let us move again. We check the next form or group of wastes as uh, we move on. So we can simply again now see that uh, the third one, okay, uh, will be now the, these wastes that, are, that are, are harmful or dangerous. We can simply refer them to hazardous waste. Something from the, this was simply from common understanding from the word hazard. I hope you know a natural hazard. Very dangerous. Okay? Yes, meaning can destroy, can kill. So these wastes that are called are grouped as hazardous waste simply because they are dangerous. Okay? So these wastes, okay, they are wastes that are very dangerous or harmful to human health or the environment. So when you ask it to simply define hazardous waste simply said they are waste that are dangerous to our lives as simple as that or to our environment and that one gives you a clear move on so we can now move ahead and then check on the examples uh, of hazardous waste okay but remember when you're looking at examples this waste can be grouped as liquid solid or contained gases Yes, they can be in the form of gases, the form of liquids, a form of, 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 of solids. Okay? So looking at examples here, we have paints. Uh, this is now a liquid. Talk of the batteries, which are solid. Batteries have chemicals, so if you play with them, it's not good. Okay? So that's why we are going to see how we can handle them. So then talk about the solvents. Solvents can be like liquids that can in which solids can easily be, be dissolved. Yes, yeah, I talk of uh, solvents in case, let's say they are waste from, from, from uh, petrol fuels, talk of waste from uh, uh, these ones of uh, diesel, all those ones, yes, waste water, it should be hazardous, yes. So those are all solvents. 
Then check the half here, chemicals. Chemicals are also harmful. So these ones they can be chemicals uh, that are, let, let's see, you, you used in different forms. They can be chemicals from treatment. They can be chemicals uh, less from uh, insecticides. So all those chemicals, once they are left there, they will be harmful. So the left for the used one, they should be properly disposed of. Insecticides, too, as we said, yes. Cleaning agents like agents like as soap and what that's all wastes. Waste soap will be now hazardous. And then pesticides, yes, chemicals used to kill pests, and then lastly plastics. So these wastes are simply referred to hazardous because they are harmful to the environment. They are harmful to our lives. So moving on, we can see a couple or a group of, of hazardous wastes. You can see, look at uh, different uh, containers, chemicals, let's say from, from hospitals, what? You see this one, you, see, you can see different wastes from here. Check uh, uh, kind of plastics, okay? Chemical tins of chemicals here, you can see. Oh, these ones are hazardous. They are, they are, they are harmful, okay? So we simply refer them, refer them to as hazardous waste. Okay, uh, so we can check on move. Still, then we can now go to the fourth category or group of wastes, and this is simply the organic waste. So looking at the word organic, organic simply means living. So also many organics are got from living things. Okay, so organic waste. Uh, the major, these are wastes that contain materials from living organisms. Yeah, this can include uh, animal waste like a dung. Uh, okay, yes, we have also industrial solid waste, uh, which we can majorly use from, let's say, uh, which, 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 are, which are majorly for got from living but are used in the factories. Yes. Or we can also get our cultural waste, okay? Uh, yes, this can be organic. Talk of uh, like uh, from the garden, yes, waste to, from chemical and what. Uh, talk of waste from uh, these uh, other plants, remains. So waste from the garden, okay? There will be our cultural waste. So we can have also waste water, yes? Uh, these ones all, all, we can refer them to as organic waste because majorly if they are, it's the wastewater you've been using within maybe uh, for bathing from living organisms you've been using. If you're at home, you, 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 when you want to bathe, you take showers, you have waste from the bathroom. So all, all, maybe that water, water that animals have been drinking in, that's all. All these ones can be organic wastes. So, and then... Moving ahead, we can see the next form or group can be the recyclable waste. So, uh, this to understand this, I uh, want to understand about simple body of recycling because these are ways that can be changed into new products. Simply looking at this, we need to check first what's recycling. Recycling is the process of converting or changing waste materials into new products. This is why we said waste, waste materials are not waste. Yeah, they can ask you explain. What do we mean by the term waste materials are not waste? It simply means that waste can be turned into new products by recycling. Okay, taking them back to factories and change them into new products. So uh, looking at those products, we can, those waste can be, we can look at them as recyclable materials, include. So you can be asked which materials can be turned into new products, like glass, okay, talk of metal, scraps, textiles, okay, talk of paper, plastics, electronics, cupboards, okay, tires, uh, yes, so these ones are simply called recyclable waste. Simply because we can change them into new products or into new other products, okay? So we can look here and have an example here. Or before that, we, like uh, we have the, we can first check here, okay? Those ones can be changed back and turned into new products. 
if they are tires we can get even a, as a new tires okay if they are plastics you can get like a bottles gel cans gel cans from that okay so we can change them into new products then we have other ways which are called toxic wastes wastes that are, that can cause death these are toxic they are typically harmful to our bodies they have got chemicals so toxic waste can include chemicals and gases such as carbon carbon monoxide that are simply called referred to as toxic waste then we also have flammable waste the term flammable means that something that can easily burn okay talk of uh, fuels like liquid fuel like uh, like, like petrol paraffin Petrol is, is highly flammable, it can easily burn. So it's waste they can check. Waste that can easily catch fire and react explosively with air. These are called uh, flammable, flammable wastes. Examples can, can we talk of waste fuels? Yes. Talk of like, uh, like, like uh, paraffin, uh, petrol, that is flammable. Then uh, gas cylinders, like at home if you have the gas cylinders. So these ones, we should also uh, keep them properly, not leaving them anywhere. So they can easily burn or catch fire. You can see a gas cylinder here. So in the case, maybe gas is reducing, don't just throw anywhere. It can easily burn in case you, you, you expose to fire. Then uh, uh, from there, uh, we can move to sources of waste. Where do these waste come from? So checking on source of waste, you can see uh, we have uh, like a source, the source of waste include like a uh, municipal source of waste. Okay, uh, we have the medical source of waste, our culture source of waste, uh, we have industrial source of waste from industries, electronic source of waste, electronic source of waste from elect electronics, construction source of waste, meaning from construction site, and then the waste from automobile, okay? Yes, like from vehicles. Uh, so we can look at them uh, briefly and see one by one. So we looked at number one first as the as municipal source of waste or urban waste. So urban or municipal source of waste, these are simply waste uh, within the town centers, okay? So these are waste collected from residential areas, markets, streets, and other places mostly in towns okay so exactly if you move around towns you can find in public places people can easily dispose this okay so that's why it's very important uh, for the public or for any person not to dispose anywhere the west that's why we we have a slogan that keep kigali clean keep the city clean keep the country clean meaning if you have you take let's say if it's water you drink water and uh, then you move around we have different uh, uh west pits okay west sites uh the the, the the dust pins on the roads you dispose all that there to avoid uh destroying the environment then uh, so we talked of the plastics all the clothes pieces of glass organic matter food remains from households waste from business premises okay establishments so these ones all should be put in waste bins or dustbins, not just thrown on the streets. Okay, so in towns or municipal waste, we can easily find such wastes from the markets, from the streets. So, but it's very important on the street if one is eating, sorry, if one is having something like you buy water, you want to drink, don't throw the bottle there. Uh, you dispose in the waste bins, the dustbins on the roads, which are put there to keep uh, the area clean. And then you can check. Uh, so this is a container where waste are uh, dumped in town. So these are these are like a garbage where it's, where it's where garbage are collected. You can find that this. So this is like a, from the waste bins on the road, they can be disposed these places. Okay. Uh, where disposal sites, waste disposal site. So we can uh, check, move on, and then see industrial wastes. Yes, this is a source of waste. So waste originating from uh, cement factories. Uh, like power stations, textile factories, food processing industries, yes, such ones from those industries we can easily get wastes. So you can check. So there's waste water from those factories. So this is not good to dispose in water. Maybe if it's done, it should be first treated. 
that's then dumped or dumped into water sources but if you dumped without treating them then they can destroy or kill aquatic life animals or animals that live in water like fish okay they can easily uh, be extinct extinct or be lost so uh, then remember some of these wastes especially those from chemical industries can be hazardous so we need to be careful when handling them then you have agriculture waste waste from agriculture okay uh, talk of like uh, crop remains uh, animal remains yes all those ones you can see these are waste from from agriculture uh, then you have waste from construction it can be called, called construction waste these guys waste are from construction sites example like uh, unwanted materials produced at the construction sites empty cement bags broken bricks soil uh packaging boxes tiles all these ones are construction wastes uh, you can see here all these should be disposed of properly okay uh, and then now uh, we have biomedical wastes or we can simply call the medical wastes these are from from me, me, from medical areas from hospitals clinics and medical institutions like expired drugs uh, surgical dressings plastic syringes and used gloves these are harmful in case you get in contact so we should be disposed of properly electronic source of waste also another source of waste okay talk of uh, waste like uh, scrap old electronics uh, uh, talk of like, like uh, old dvds tele televisions set telephones all the computers vacuum cleaners and their parts you can see here oh these are old laptops all these so these ones should not be dumped on the site most of them can be uh, taken in to use can be recycled so we do not we should not or just dispose of this anywhere okay we should maybe uh, collect them properly and then they can be taken for by the, the garbage collectors or disposed of properly or can be recycled then waste from automobiles and another kind of waste waste from automobiles simply refers to waste from motor vehicles okay like uh, old vehicles oil grease Oh, these ones are waste from automobiles you can simply see here these the tires okay these are all waste from automobiles they should be a harmful they should be disposed of properly and then so uh, looking at this it's very important bring to our attention that uh, waste can be classified in different different forms so in our lesson today we have covered a lot of things uh, we have covered defining, uh, looking at defining wastes and uh, waste management. We have looked at that. Uh, we simply say that waste management can simply refer to the proper way of handling waste. And then uh, talking about waste, waste can be materials that are no longer in use. But we have been mentioning, and you always be asked that, why well, explain the term wastes are not wastes? What does it mean? It can mean that waste can also be turned into useful products. So for this time, we have seen went ways of looking at uh, uh, forms of waste, okay, and uh, those, those those which are biodegradable waste, non-biodegradable waste, meaning those which are biodegradable, those ones you can rot. Then non-biodegradable waste, non-biodegradable waste, those which cannot rot. And then talk of uh, waste like hazardous waste, which are harmful. Okay, uh, we went on organic waste majorly from, from agriculture, uh, those are all kinds of waste. Some are recyclable waste, okay, which can be turned into other new products. So those are all forms of waste. So we went through all that, and then that gives us at least a basis of understanding waste in our environment. But it is very important to note that waste are harmful to our environment, to our lives. So we are supposed to collect them uh, properly Yes, dispose them properly. When we are packing them in bags at home, or we should have separate those which are, can rot, which cannot rot separately. And then uh, they can be taken to the garbage sites for this puzzle. So that uh, has at least brought us to the end of our lesson. And then uh, please check, keep following us 
on BTN TV or as watch us and then uh, keep uh, following the YouTube you'll be getting them uh, wisdom center website you can still get questions uh, more videos for you and then uh, we shall also be providing more questions for revision about this topic and other topics uh, on our WhatsApp groups so still follow us you can easily get us yes anytime you need us we can just check on us check on our contacts available you easily get us we will be helped thank you for following us in this lesson